careful now. We get in the Kobe wants the murky, bro. He's mad today. Kobe, what's your problem, dude? Kobe. Gotta kill him. Yeah, it's Kobe the Cobra. You didn't know that? I, I don't remember all their names. There's so many. It's right there <laughs> on his cage. Kobe. See? Boom. Kobe. You're a jerk, bro. Oh, all right. What is up, guys? How the hell are you? You know the drill. It's Tyler Nolan. Welcome to the show. Yes, you can see my finger. Got a little band-aid on my finger. I've been working on the shop this weekend. Jake's been there helping me put the floor down. My buddy Jeremy. Dude, we redid the whole shop this weekend. It was absolutely insanity. Did it in like two days. Looks awesome though. Yeah, it does look great, but crazy. dude, it was crazy. Like the biggest thing was moving that reef tank. That reef tank, I had to have Austin come over. Dude, we had to take absolutely everything out of the tank. We had to catch all the fish up. We had to take all the eels out, put them in this big old tub, move the tank over, put the flooring down, move the tank back, reset it up, Crazy. Put, get a new light on it. Dude, it was absolutely insanity. Move everything in my shop. Obviously, my shop's open and running. So imagine putting a brand new floor down in a tattoo shop that's already been opened and it's full of stuff already. We had to move all the stations over, put the floor down, move everything back. Dude, it was it was a nightmare, but Crazy. we got it done and it's awesome. And I'm gonna show you guys the end result of all that here soon. Another thing, the TNT limited edition run, these hoodies and t-shirts, you wanna see the back? All this merch just came in the mail for you guys. You guys have been tagging me on Instagram yesterday. The last couple days, you guys have been getting it in. Again, thank you so, so much for everybody that contributed and everybody that bought a t-shirt or a hoodie. Sorry for everybody that did not get one of the bigger sizes. I'm actually working with Teespring right now on customer service and other issues that we were having. The way Teespring works is it's a third party company so that my buddy helped design this clothing line. But for the most part, I design everything give it to Teespring. Teespring has a whole bunch of little printing centers and then they distribute from there. So depending on where you live, it goes to the closest printing center, yada yada. I'll save you the boring stuff. So with that said, not all the quality is the same. So if you are not happy with the quality t-shirt or sweatshirt that you got, please reach out to Teespring and tell them that and they will re either reimburse you or they will send you a new product that is better quality. It's only, I've only gotten a few emails about it, but if you do have a problem, please, I can't do anything about it. You have to email Teespring about it. With that said, enough boring mumbo jumbo talk. We're here in the snake room. It's been a busy weekend. We gotta take care of some animals. So uh, let's uh, take care of some stuff. What? Let's see how the gaboon is doing. Oh, the gaboon. The gaboon. Yes. Yes. So remember, this gaboon was sick, right? Both of them were sick. I had a male and a female gaboon. So, I got some news about the male. So let's uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna take the gaboon out and I'll talk to you with her. Hey, sweetheart. Are you going to be a sweet girl today? Yes? No? All right, guys, so here we have my female gaboon viper. She is beautiful. Love her. Cannot wait to breed her this coming season. I'm gonna breed her. I'm gonna try to pair her with my male rhino viper that I have and try to produce some gabino babies. I don't know if you guys remember, but a few months ago, I don't know, maybe six or seven months ago now, um, the male gaboon viper that I had, I had a pair. I had a male and a female. Obviously, this is my female. My male gaboon viper, they both got this respiratory infection. Not sure how, um, but we were treating that for a while. The male was bad for a long time. I'm pretty sure everything got it from the male. The male, when I got it in, was uh, that was probably like a year and a half ago now, in my last house even. So when I had the gaboon in my last house, brought it over here, still had the problem. We were still giving injections, kept coming back. It just kept getting worse and worse and worse. 
Finally, we had to euthanize that snake. I sent him off to, it's called Skeleton Afterlife. Uh, a friend of mine, he does skeleton rearticulations for snakes and uh, many other animals. Uh, mammals, reptiles, all sorts of stuff. Uh, go check out his Instagram, I'll put the link down below. But he just hit me up yesterday and he's got a lot of surprises for me. He's coming here next week. He's bringing me my male gaboon. Uh, I had a rhino viper a while ago die. I had a, an eastern, a big eastern diamondback male that I got from Tom Crutchfield as wild caught. That also passed away. A few other snakes that I gave him got rearticulated. I'll show you the male that I had my gaboon, as you can see, is beautiful. I can't wait to get this gaboon viper back. Badass skeleton. Can't wait for you guys to. I'm actually probably gonna make a video. I got a couple other skeletons coming when he brings them down next week. One of them, all of them, I'm probably gonna set up at my shop. They're gonna be really freaking cool. So, we're about to get your boyfriend back. He's just not alive. She is definitely one of my favorite snakes. Now, obviously I do not trust this snake too much. I can kind of pretty much tell her temperament most of the time, but this is one of those snakes, like a puff adder, or those, that my rhino. Dude, they're such a fast striking animal. You have to be on your wits with these guys because all it takes is one false move and this is one of the worst things you can possibly get bit by in this room. Like, dude, the venom, the venom yield and the venom is just absolutely insane. But, dude, just look how beautiful the colors are on this snake. Amazing. Another thing about uh, the rearticulation that I can't wait for, he was actually able to save the hide from the gaboon and the rhino, so I'll have the skins also. So. Even though I don't have these animals with me in person alive, at least I still have their skeletons and their skins. I can have them for the rest of my life and still be able to really remember that animal, which is great. It's the whole reason why. A lot of people ask me, why do you have so much taxidermy and stuff? Well, I just like to keep my animals when things happen. You know what I mean? All right, baby girl. Put you back in your cage now that it's nice and clean. Look at that. Awesome. Now this little eyelash viper, if I can get you out. I finally was able to get him to eat some lizards now. So now instead of eating frogs, pain in the butt, I gotta go all the way down to underground and I gotta get certain types of frogs that are non-poisonous so that way he can eat them and be fine. But now I got him eating brown anoles, which is even better because I literally just go out in the yard, catch them, throw them in the freezer, thaw them out, boom. Now he's on lizards. So this little guy, is doing great just a little update on all the animals everybody always asks questions in the videos they're like oh how's this animal doing how's this animal doing they're all doing pretty great the uh the baby in solaris the little blue guys like, let's get those out take a little look all right so this is one of the blue in solaris is the one of the babies it's doing pretty well dude look how big they're getting it's crazy like look at this little viper such a cute little snake. Look at that little guy. What a pretty little snake, man. Right? Awesome. Now, same thing with these guys. These guys are also eating lizards. He's slamming them down all the time. Can you let me touch you? No? They are very fast little vipers. But they're just so freaking cute, right? We gotta go catch him some food today. We'll go outside here in a minute, go get them a little lizard. But, dude, update on these guys, doing great still. I've had them for a while now. I feel like I'm in the, I'm in the safe zone with these guys. With baby and Solaris, it's really hard to get them to eat at first. A lot of people get them as babies, and they don't live for very long because they refuse to eat food. But this guy is doing great. Same thing with the other little tiny baby. Also, eating like a champ. We're gonna go catch some food here for these guys in just a little bit. We'll do it off camera, see if you guys all the boring stuff. So the next update on the list is about my indigo. Hey bro, how are you doing? So, as you guys know, I've been looking for a female for this guy for quite some time now. For months actually, at least, at least six months. In every other video I mentioned to you guys, 
I need a female. Hook a brother up. Let me know where they are. So last week, someone hit me up, and they were like, hey, someone posted on Morph Market, SVO Exotics. I think his name is JG. JG, is a, that's what it says on his Instagram. Very cool kid. I was talking to him uh, last week about everything. He was selling two males and a female. The female, actually, he got from Black Pearl Reptiles, and they are beautiful red phase indigos as well. Now, my indigo came, I think the clutch that he came from was August 5th of 2017. And the female that I just got, yes, that's right, I just finally found and purchased a female indigo for my male here, finally. Yes. I can't wait to get them. So now I have to do all the transfer paperwork because obviously there's a to have them to have these snakes in Florida, it's a transfer permit, which you have to purchase the animal out of state, prove that you already purchased it, you paid for it, you have to fill out all this information about the caging requirements, where you're keeping them, why you want the animal, yada yada. So I just have to wait on my transfer permit from Florida Fishing Game, the federal Florida Fishing Game in Georgia, not in Florida. And as soon as they approve it, they're gonna email me back with a nice little email saying, hey, you're approved to transfer your snake through state lines. And then his sweet girlfriend, who is the same size and from the same year clutch, will be here. Indigos, from what I have read and from what other people have been telling me, a lot of my friends have, uh, a few, not a lot of my friends, a few of my friends have bred indigos before. They say that four to five years of age is the ideal breeding time for these guys. So it's a little bit longer than a lot of other snakes, but it'll happen one day and I'm super stoked. I cannot, I'm really excited to have a pair of indigos. That's pretty much what I'm trying to do right now. Um, all the snakes that I do have, if I don't have them paired up with anything, I am going to try to find them some mates, except for like my Egyptian and a couple other things that are just too old to be breeding, but everything's going to have girlfriends here soon, and it's going to be awesome. Really freaking cool. Alright, so let's get this guy back in his cage. You fluff your stuff a little bit. His cage isn't too bad. He's got his little pieces of shed here and there, but... It's not too bad. Soon, probably later on this week, I'm gonna change out everybody's substrate, get them off this aspen, and put some no float in all these cages. Kilo, your cage is filthy right now. Hello, my Kilo. Hello, my sweet boy. How are you? You going to let me take you out like this, okay? Yes, okay. Oh, my beautiful boy. Oh, I love you. Dude, he's such, such a great cobra. Jake, you wanna open up the trash can for me real fast? So I can get him in here. Here we go. Let's get Kilo's cage nice and freshed up for him. So using this, now that Kilo is regularly eating again, he ate those two rats, what, a week ago, a week and a half ago, something like that. Uh, the whole test was to make sure that he was feeling well enough and if the whole bacterial infection mishap was over with. That's why he was regurging last time. So now he's taking his food, he's taking rats, which is crazy. I didn't have to scent them or anything. He was just hungry enough to take one. And uh, he kept it down great. I fed him another, uh, I was feeding off some things the other day and I had a leftover rat pup. I threw a rat pup in there, he ate it up. It's doing pretty awesome. So we're just gonna get this cage nice and cleaned. I like to just like give it a little, give the substrate a little fluff. You know, because after your snakes are slithering around their cage for so long, it becomes all compacted and it just looks whatever. So I like to just give things a fresh little fluff, you call it, you know, boom, just like that, right? So this weekend, I have somebody important coming to the shop. He's doing some filming. He's also coming here. He's going to be filming, and we have something huge in the works that I cannot even talk about now. But you guys just have to stay tuned for that, and soon enough, you will know, and he'll, maybe hopefully you'll remember and be like, oh, back in the day, Tyler was talking about this coming out, and it's going to happen pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Big thing's coming. I'm really excited. All right. Nice and clean. No more poop on his hide box. Beautiful. Let's get that right there, nice position. Close that. 
clean mats, blah, blah, blah. Get no luster. Get a little kilo out. Hey, bro. Yeah, man, he's doing great. He still has great body weight, super healthy. Now that he's eating, the only thing that happened recently with him that I don't know if you guys noticed on that last video that I posted, but if you, come on, show me your face real fast. If you see, if you notice the tip of his nose, you see that? He's got a little bit of nose rub now because I guess after his medicine, after his medicine started working, he was obviously feeling a little bit better, so he was slithering around his cage a little bit more and exploring. And then once he started getting a little bit more hungry, I guess he was just pushing his face on the edges of these cages right here. And I guess it gave him a little bit of nose rub. All right, that's pretty much it. Everybody's really clean here. The only other cage that really needs to be clean is Batman. As you can see, he's sitting on top of his poop right here. Got a little spicy meatball laying on, laying underneath you, man. But you can see, see how clouded his eyes are right now? He is in a super opaque phase right now. So, I will most likely be doing a live video this weekend, hopefully. So stay tuned on Saturday, finally. I know I've been saying I've been doing, I haven't done a live stream in probably a couple months now. So I got the Wi-Fi extender for the house. That's already all set up. So I'm gonna to try to do a live video this weekend for you guys on Saturday. So if you guys have any questions or concerns and I have not answered them in the comments or I haven't answered them in emails, make sure you turn into the live stream this weekend on Saturday to ask those questions and I will gladly answer them and hopefully I get to everybody, okay? So that is it. I gotta to get to work, got mad things to do. We gotta finish taking care of the shop. I'm gonna do a video soon on the end result of all of that. Hopefully you guys like the way it looks so far. Make sure you are following me on Instagram, Tyler Nolan Tattoos. On my stories, I post updates every single day. I don't post on YouTube every single day. I started posting some stories last week, but uh, the stories on YouTube are actually kind of a little bit weird to like follow. On YouTube, when you post a story, you can't actually answer individual comments. You have to like post another story answering the people, which is absolutely, it's pretty stupid. I don't know why they do it like that. But anyways, I gotta go to work. Thank you all for watching. Make sure if you like this channel, you watch these videos all the time, you're subscribed, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, let me know how you guys are doing. Till then, peace out.